And honestly, you guys can drag me in the comments if you want to, but this is my opinion. Hey guys, it's Kamara. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a really long time, but today we're going to be talking about it. Um, today is free Slurpee day, so that's why my tongue is blue. I definitely brushed my teeth this morning. I don't want you guys to think that I didn't, but I had a blue raspberry Slurpee, and I'm going to go get another one after this video, so yeah. Okay. So, welcome back to my channel. I don't know when the last time I posted was. I believe the last thing that I posted was my prom and graduation video, and I haven't posted since then. So now that you guys are seeing me, my hair is dyed. If you guys watched the prom vlog, you would know that. But I haven't really been doing natural hair content on my channel. and I So I'm just gonna come right out and say it. The natural hair community has gotten so boring to me and it's hard for me to feel inspired or feel motivated to make natural hair content for you guys because it's so boring. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, it's not boring, it's not da -na 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 -na. To me, it's boring. Like, the natural hair community was a big trend. A couple years ago, everybody wanted to know everything about their natural hair. People are finding products, trying new brands, figure out how to get their hair healthy again. It's something new, it's something fun, it's a change. I was definitely intrigued by it. I started my natural hair journey. I always loved hair, but the thought of my own natural hair was definitely something that really interested me. So I was really interested in the natural hair community, trying all these products, of course becoming a product junkie, going through all the jumps just like the rest of you and as I started going through my journey I made a YouTube channel to share my journey with you guys so you guys have seen everything in my journey my highs my lows me growing my hair me cutting my hair and now me dyeing my hair through all of that I just feel like the community has done just about everything that there is to do and now it just seems like random stuff is happening I don't know I don't know how else to say it, but it's so much randomness just going on that I don't really watch natural hair videos anymore. And what I mean by this is a lot of people say that the community is really saturated because it, it is. The community is overly saturated. There are so many videos on how to wash your hair. There are so many videos on how to grow your hair. There are so many videos on even different product reviews that is almost like why should I make a video when there are a million other ones out there that you could click to watch? So one for me as a content creator, I don't want to keep putting out the same content that everybody else is putting out. If I can't put out something that is unique to my channel or unique to me, I don't really want to do it. And not to throw anybody under the bus or anything, but when I did my Vix Vapor Up video, that is the video that has the most views on my channel, I did it after I saw one person doing it. I had no idea that it was going to blow up and become this trend. And that was the one and only, yeah, that was pretty much the one and only kind of outside of the box DIY trendy video that I did for that specific reason. I didn't like the idea of everyone jumping onto one bandwagon doing the exact same thing when we all know what the outcome is going to be, you know? If you watch one person make a video about VIX and another person makes a video, it's all going to kind of be the same thing. After my VIX video came out, it was kind of slow and steady. My subscribers were watching it and then it blew up to 2.5 million views. And you know, I love all the traffic, I love the subscribers that I got from that video, but I just personally felt like if I wanted to stay on top that I had to keep doing those trendy and viral videos to stay relevant. And for me, that's not the turn that I wanted my channel to take. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do that and fall into that whole, what's trendy? Let me do what's popping right now. Like. 
If you scroll through your YouTube feed, it's gonna be at least 10 people doing this same video because it's popular at the moment. And that's fine for them, but for me, that's not how I want my channel to be. So, my VIX video was the last video that I did like that. But yeah, as far as the natural hair community, I just feel like everything has been done and now people are just trying random things. And while that's fine and dandy, that's also, once again, that's not my cup of tea. That might be something that you like to watch, but that's not something that I like to watch. Like, it's kind of boring to me to watch all of these make your hair grow 50 million inches in one night by doing this. I'm kind of tired of watching those, so I don't really watch a lot of natural hair videos anymore. In fact, I watch very few to none. Versus when I first started my channel, most of my subscriptions were to people who had natural hair. So I was constantly seeing natural hair, you know, feeling motivated in that way and stuff. But as time went on, I unsubscribed from so many people. I would say I'm only subscribed to maybe 10 people with natural hair who consistently upload about their hair because it's not something that's repetitive or that I see them doing because they'll get a lot of views or because they'll get a lot of likes or because they'll get a lot of money. Now, if you guys are still like, what is she talking about? What is she talking about? We can name a couple trends that have been going on recently in the natural hair community that are just like, why are you doing this? What are you, why are you doing this? Okay, we, let, let's talk about a few and then we're gonna end the video. The main thing that really pushed me over the edge when it came time to make this video was seeing every YouTuber try this whole wet look wash and go. That's what really made me feel like, okay, it's time for me to sit down and make a video and be honest with them about why I'm not really making natural hair content anymore. That I was so tired of seeing. All through my Instagram, all on YouTube, Everybody and their mother, grandmother, auntie, sister, cousin was doing how to get a wet look. A wet look for type 3. A wet look using one product. A wet look on 4C. Does it really work? Like, I don't need to see every single person make a wet look video. I don't. And then after that, well before that, rice water is another example. Vix could also be an example. There are so many examples of everybody hopping on the bandwagon and doing the same thing and you might like to watch the same thing but I don't and I don't want to create the same thing so I'm not saying that I will never make natural hair content on my channel ever again but I refuse to do the exact same content that every other natural hair youtuber is doing if there's something going on with my hair or I'm trying a new style or a new product or a new routine and I feel like you guys would like to see it I'm definitely gonna share that with you guys but I'm not gonna sit down and do something just because it gets me views I'm not doing that so with that being said this whole community has just gotten kind of boring to me and I'm not motivated to make the same content like I was before. And that's the honest truth. And honestly, you guys can drag me in the comments if you want to, but this is my opinion. <laughs> so I'm not going to lose any sleep at night. It's just my opinion. So... If you guys enjoyed this video, please stay tuned for the next one that I have coming out in a couple of days. It's going to be great. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.